So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. The action has already started. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Samir Handanovic. He has magnificent reactions and his incredible record at saving penalties is testament to that. Having a, a reliable and authoritative keeper like him makes a, a massive difference to a team's confidence levels. And believe me, Peter, I'd expect him to make an immediate impact here. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Get a throw in. And here's Lukaku. Lukaku gets it out to the wing. Now it's Lukaku. Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi. It is deadlocked. Perisic. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Vidal. Vidal goes looking. To a promising move. Hullet drives it forward. That intervention was very necessary. That's a throw. And helps available out wide. Worth the try. What about the outcome? Oh, that's fantastic improvisation he showed there. Adjusted himself very quickly, but it's rare that they come off. Maldini. Beckham with a delicate ball. That has been clear. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Cut out in the nick of time. And there's the end of the first half. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Reflections on the first half. Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. And in sweeping half, lacking only in goals, the score nil nil. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Parma can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Brozovic plays it over to the other flank. And it's Eriksen. Messi. Rashford! That has certainly tested the keeper.
Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Beckham with the short one. Goes for goal! His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Hoists it forward. Ronaldo plays it out to the flank. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Goal! Palmer, a really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attack in heaven. Palmer take the lead, 1-0. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Trion gets it back. Scores. And it's Messi. Messi, this is promising. And the shot! It's broken loose. Oh, it's bounced out! about that I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front they really commit forward in numbers too it was all very well drilled there is some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change Palmer get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Pull it. Beckham. Into opposition territory. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Damian. Vidal. Palmer have time on their side now, as well as a two-goal lead. It is just about done. And that's been levered clear. Eriksson, Perisic. Now it's Sanchez. Plays it through. Perisic. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. That's it. Palmer have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Palmer will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity that's hard to upset.